What I really liked about The Quiet Place is that in the core is more a drama, a family drama. Mm -hmm. It's about your own relationship than, exactly, than a horror yeah. movie. How do you work in order to find the right balance between these two different things and the, the tone? It's a really good question. I mean, uh, I remember actually when we were shooting The Office, I think I was telling you this, that uh, Craig Daniels, the creator of the show, I remember said to me, your job is not to deliver these lines funny. Your job is just to deliver the lines. And, you know, it made a lot of sense to me. He said, if people laugh, that's up to them. And if people cry, that's up to them. Your job is just to tell the story, honestly. So I actually took that advice. It sounds like a small bit of advice, but I took it uh, very, uh, mu very much to heart in this because I had never really done a horror movie. I, I certainly had never done a horror movie. I haven't seen that many horror movies. And so for me, the key was tell what you know. And what I knew was I really wanted to ground people with this story of a family and make it a, a metaphor for parenthood. And it's really powerful and really emotional to me. And what I found was that once you nail the idea of this family and you care for this family as an audience, you actually become more and more scared because you don't want anything to happen to them. I think also the uh, the silence in which the family is forced, it also in some way shapes also their, their body language, which is very specific yes. during the movie. You mm -hmm. have to be really careful about right. the way they act with right, the right. environment. Yeah. How do you work on this side of the... It was one of those things where most of the preparation for the movie was done where we just sat and talked a lot about what we thought of the movie, what the situations were, how people were going to react to each thing. And it was conversations of what the actors wanted to do and what I thought we could get away with and could do and could not do. Um, but it's interesting, I, I got to be honest, the body language and all that sort of just came inherently. I think that it's one of those things where if we all said that we couldn't make sound right now, you'd start walking a lot different. You'd start moving very carefully it, and, and it became more fluid, more um, more uh, gentle, everything. Mm -hmm. It's difficult to talk about messages in, in movies like, in genre movies, especially horrors, but what would you like the audience will grab watching your movie? Well, that's a great question. I mean, for me, I love that people think the movie's scary and I, and I, and I really appreciate that, but I love even more that people think the movie's emotional. I think at the end of the day, you know, one of the best compliments I've gotten is that people said they never thought they'd cry in a horror movie. And to me, that's the power of this film is it is about family, it is about parenthood, and it is about the extreme of what would you really do for your kids to protect them. So for me, I've, I, it, it's about family. It's, it's, I've, I'm lucky enough to come from a great family. I have a great family now. And I think family's always been important to me, but especially in this day and age where things can sometimes feel a little unstable. The message I would love to get have people out there is that this, this idea of community and relying on one another and that I believe that with phones and things like that, we've become very individual in our experience of life. And this is one of those things where I think we're coming back to experiencing things together and relying on each other to get through hard times. I think as a father and a, uh, as a husband, you can easily connect to Liz Carter. And, yeah. But in what you are different from him? And do you think he made some mistakes during the, so, during the story? Yeah, it's interesting because I love the idea that I know people like Lee and I know that there's a generation and a certain uh, types of people and types of men who feel that the best way to be a strong and good father is to not show any weakness, not show any emotion. That's certainly not who I am. I'm very uh, emotional. <laughs> I'm very overly communicative. And so I think that we're very different, Lee and I, and yet at the same time, it was really nice to explore uh, parenting and explore an experience like this, however fake it was for me. To, to get that side of things, to, to try to be as stoic as possible um, by not uh, giving that emotion. The, the mistake that I think he made is, it's the one thing that his children want from him more than anything is an emotional connection and that sometimes in order to be their hero, you lose the opportunity to just be their dad.